Hi everyone, uh, this is Joshkun from Hanway Machinery. Uh, in this video, in this presentation, I will going to uh, handle all aspects about baby diaper investments, investment projects, feasibility analysis. Uh, we will all uh, we will planning to uh, make a presentation, a detailed presentation to you for this baby diaper investments. Uh, first of all, let me introduce uh, you our uh, presentation plan. Uh, we will talk about uh, baby diaper types and sizes uh, and we will uh, talk about baby diaper performance criteria we will talk about again which raw materials are are used in diaper production how much does diaper project production costs uh, how should be the factory layout uh, what are the other cost items to consider in production uh, what are the considerations in uh, choosing a diaper production line manufacturer uh, we will uh, go through all uh, these issues in our presentation let's start First of all, I will uh, I would like to tell you about diaper types. I mean, open baby diapers. There are two main types of baby diapers: uh, T-shaped baby diapers and I-shaped baby diapers. As you see in the screen, a T-shaped baby diaper is uh, resembles a T uh, letter T uh, because uh, it has a composite chassis, composite body, and uh, in this composite body, I-shaped body, we add two side panels. These are the side panels. We also uh, call them ears, back ears, back side panels. Because of these side panels, it forms, it takes a form like a T-shape. Uh, so we call this uh, baby diaper a T-shaped baby diaper. Uh, and I-shaped baby diapers is uh, mainly an I, uh, I shape uh, chassis. My, mainly has an I shape chassis in the machine in the production line. And uh, during the production, uh, these uh, parts, these parts are trimmed. So. Uh, the, uh, in I shape baby diaper, uh, the main chassis resembles an I shape, I letter shape. So we call this type of baby diaper an I shape baby diaper. Uh, in this type of baby diaper, there are also uh, some uh, ears, ears. But uh, in this baby diapers, uh, there are no side panels. So uh, in I shape uh, baby diapers, there are just uh, these ear, ears, uh, these uh, hooks. Uh, but in this type of baby diapers, T shape baby diapers, there are side panels. These side panels are. Uh, edit uh, on the baby uh, baby diaper. We will uh, discuss them detailly uh, in the previous slides. Now uh, there's a full photo of you can see a full photo of T-shaped baby diaper. And uh, now I would like to introduce some uh, technical drawings here. Uh, for example, this drawing uh, you can see uh, the layers of baby diaper. Uh, I won't uh, I won't go through all the layers because it will it will be very boring. Uh, because uh, in the next slide I will uh, show all these layers in a uh, real baby diaper. So uh, there is no need to go through all the details here. But if you want to, uh, you can stop the video and uh, uh, examine the baby diaper's layers uh, in, de in detail. Now uh, I will show you baby diaper components in a real, uh, on a real baby diaper. This is our baby diaper. This is a T-shaped baby diaper as you see. You can uh, see its side panels here. These are elastic side panels. Side panels again. Uh, these are side panel tapes for fastening the baby diapers. These are front side panels. As you understand, this is the front side of baby diaper. You can understand this uh, from the drawings and uh, some uh, some instructions you may see uh, on on front of the baby on front of the diaper. Uh, and also you will see a frontal tape. Uh, on the front, uh, this tape is for fastening the baby diaper with the rear ears. So uh, this is the uh, frontal frontal side of baby diaper, and uh, this is the back side of the baby diaper. This is uh, also an elastic waistband. Can you see? I, I think you can see the uh, waistband here is elastic. Uh, it's not so popular in our area in Middle East or Europe, but uh, these elastic waistbands are very po popular uh, in China and uh, east, far east. Uh, so if you are considering to uh, sell your diapers uh, to this region, uh, maybe you can consider uh, use uh, this uh, elastic waistbands. These are also a premium uh, feature for the baby's uh, comfort. Uh, so uh, maybe uh, you will uh, consider this to use. Uh, let me show you uh, how it's fastened now. Uh, I think I suppose uh, already uh, moms and dads already know uh, how to fasten baby diaper, but uh, you release this fasting tape uh, pull 
uh, you pull it and then you stick it uh, on the uh, side frontal frontal tape. Uh, for example, if you stick it here, uh, it's not uh, it's easily uh, come. Uh, so you you must stick it on the frontal tape. There is a tape. Let me show you this tape. First. This is a this is the frontal tape, which is for fastening the uh, fastening with the uh, back ears. These back ears have a hook system, and this frontal tape this frontal tape has a, a loop system. When you uh, stick it together, they won't open anymore. It's very uh, hard to open, so it's very important when fastening the baby. So our first component is uh, our uh, let me say frontal tape. So let's continue. Uh, with our baby diaper. Well, I am going to disassemble uh, it now. When you disassemble the diaper, you first need to uh, take off uh, barriers and uh, cups. Now I'm taking all the barriers. Yes, now uh, you can see the main chassis of baby diaper. This is uh, this part we call it as chassis. Uh, you will also uh, see uh, the layers uh, on uh, on the left side or right side of the video. You can also keep track uh, from that uh, layers. Now I'm peering out uh, front. Uh, I'm peering, peering out the top sheet. Top sheet is a is a very important non woven because it touches the baby skin. As you see, this is top sheet. Also, there's another non-woven laminated here. You can see. Let me peel it off also. This is ADL. Acquisition and distribution layer non-woven. This is our uh, top sheet. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, on the top of the baby diaper, this uh, non-woven. And it's very, as I said, very important because it touches the baby's skin. You can uh, see the embossings uh, on it. Uh, and it's a hydrophilic non-woven. Let me tell you some uh, technical information about hydrophilic and uh, hydrophobic non-wovens. Uh, hydrophobic means uh, it uh, re resents or uh, it resists water. Uh, so hydrophobic non-wovens doesn't like water. It uh, repels uh, water. Uh, but hydrophilic non-wovens are attracts water. So uh, this top sheet is a hydrophilic non-woven because here uh, we need to attract water uh, and we need to transfer water uh, below uh, below this uh, non-woven to the ADL with the help of ADL. Uh, the ADL also uh, is a very uh, important component of uh, of diaper. Uh, it's an also a hydrophilic non-woven. It's very hydrophilic, uh, and its duty is to uh, accuse it and distribute the urine, uh, the liquid. So uh, when a baby pees uh, on this, uh, it distributes uh, the liquid and uh, transfers uh, to the core. Now let me show you uh, core. This is core. Core is like a sandwich. Let me try to get the core completely from the PE film. But I think uh, no need for now. Let's continue. The, there is an, another non-woven here. You can see uh, this is uh, upper tissue. This is called upper tissue. Let me take it also. This is called upper tissue non-woven. This is for uh, helping uh, the formation of core. Uh, there is a twin uh, under uh, the core. There's a twin of this uh, non-woven under the core, uh, and uh, with its twin, uh, it forms, it gives a form, and uh, it helps to uh, it helps to uh, protect uh, core's form uh, in a in an uh, in an uh, optimum uh, optimum shape. So uh, now uh, we can see the core. Uh, 
uh, core is consists of uh, cellulose and SAP. Uh, cellulose, uh, you can see cellulose here. This is a flat life like uh, cotton like uh, matter. Uh, it's produced from pine trees, uh, mainly from North America. Uh, it's like uh, it's like a cotton. You see, it's a fluffy, uh, fluffy matter. And now let me show you SAP. I don't know you can see here, but uh, there are some tiny particles here. Yes. Now I hope you can see them. There are tiny particles here. These are SAPs. SAP stands for Super Absorbent Polymer. So its duty uh, in baby diaper is to uh, is to uh, absorb uh, the liquid and uh, form a jelly-like uh, matter. Uh, its duty is to preserve uh, liquids. Uh, it uh, retain all the liquids in the core in this position, uh, and uh, when uh, SAP absorbs the liquid, uh, then the liquid will no uh, no more a liquid. It will be a jelly, uh, jelly-like matter. So uh, it won't uh, leak outside outside the diaper. So we can see uh, this part, uh, the core part. Uh, that uh, it, it's uh, it's the engine of the diaper because uh, it makes the uh, most important duty in the diaper. So this core is very important. Uh, this distribution of SAP uh, and fluff uh, needs to be uh, needs to be stable and uh, needs to be neatly distributed. Uh, we need a good mixture of them uh, in this region. So this mixture is very important. Now uh, you can see some channels here. This is also a premium, uh, premium feature of our baby diapers. Uh, we can design this kind of, we can produce this kind of uh, baby diapers with our machines. Um, in most cases, in most uh, brands, you can see uh, these uh, channels, but these channels gives uh, the baby a more comfortable uh, experience with the diaper because it uh, gets the shapes of baby's legs uh, and, uh, and uh, comforts baby's uh, legs. So, uh, it's also a premium feature. Premium feature. Uh, if you want to <coughs> differentiate uh, from your uh, competitors, you can also use uh, use this type of uh, designs uh, to make a difference uh, to your customers. Now, uh, let me show you PE film or uh, backsheet film. We call it also backsheet film. It here, so. I will try to peel it off here. Back sheet film. Back sheet number one. This film, uh, this number one is outside. Uh, of baby diaper. This is also very important because uh, it helps uh, to form the whole all diapers shapes, outer shape, chassis. So it's also a very important uh, number one. Now, back sheet, under the uh, back sheet number one, you can see the back sheet film. This is back sheet film. As you see, it's also a, a hydrophobic number one, uh, not number one actually. This is PE, pe polyethylene. PE means polyethylene. This is uh, a plastic and nylon, nylon material, raw material, as you see, it's very nylon. It's like uh, our plastic bags. So uh, moms uh, doesn't like to uh, have it such feeling uh, with this film, uh, with this material. So uh, producer, baby diaper producers uh, prefer to cover, cover this uh, PE film with the back sheet film. So uh, the, the mummies. Uh, the mom's feels more natural and more comfortable, more soft, uh, softly, uh, softer with this uh, side of the baby diaper. So uh, it's used used for comforting uh, the uh, moms actually, comforting pa parents. So uh, that's all about the chassis. And you can see here the SAPs. SAPs are uh, here, as you see. These are all SAPs. You can also see here barriers, leg cups, outer and uh, inner elastics. For example, this is the cup elastic. 
inner leg elastic and this is the outer elastic outer leg elastic so these are all about the uh, baby diapers components i hope it helps uh, you to understand uh, better baby diapers components now uh, there is another type as i said before eye shaped baby diapers uh, this is a photo of eye shaped baby diapers uh, they uh, this type of baby diapers uh, layers are also uh, resemble uh, T-shaped baby diapers. They are mainly uh, the same, but the uh, chasse. Uh, you can also stop the video here and uh, examine the baby, this type of baby diapers uh, components uh, in detail uh, with matching the numbers and uh, the list. Uh, you can easily find uh, which part is which part, uh, what, what does it call, what, what do we call uh, which, are, which part. For example, uh, 14 is PE film, polyethylene film. A back shield film, it also called a back shield film. Uh, for example, uh, number uh, number 15, uh, sorry, number 16 is back sheet. For example, this <coughs> this part is back sheet. You can <coughs> examine like that. Now, I would like to uh, tell you about the sizes, the main sizes uh, of baby diapers which are used in market. Uh, there are mainly five sizes of baby diapers. These are newborn, mini, midi, maxi, junior. Uh, this differs, this size differs uh, according to baby's weight. Uh, for example, uh, two and five kilo kilogram uh, babies, uh, you should use newborn uh, size baby diapers. Uh, we call them also one, two, three, four, five sizes uh, with numbers. We can also uh, call them with numbers. Uh, so there are uh, uh, there are mainly five sizes uh, of baby diapers in the market. So now let me uh, tell you about some uh, performance cr criteria of baby diapers. As you know, uh, in baby diapers, in all, uh, not just in baby diapers, in all uh, the production uh, facilities and production uh, professionals use uh, performance cr criteria. And, and if you are a baby diaper uh, producer, you should also uh, you should also use some uh, baby some performance cr criteria. Uh, this uh, performance criteria helps you uh, to make your uh, product stable uh, and uh, you can guarantee your quality with this uh, performance criteria, criteria also. Uh, first of the performance criteria is overall, overall appearance and qual quality feel of baby diaper. Uh, this is very important for moms uh, because when they uh, feel the, when they touch the baby diaper, uh, they feel uh, they they want to feel it. Uh, they want uh, a qual to feel uh, in baby diaper. Uh, so it's the very important uh, thing of the baby diaper. It's also uh, overall appearance uh, is also very important in baby diapers. Uh, a good uh, layout, a good layout, a, a symmet symmetric uh, layout is very important also. Uh, maybe some uh, good drawings and some printings, uh, uh, some entertaining uh, printings uh, would be. Uh, very good in overall appearance. Uh, of course, leak pro protection capability is the most important, maybe, uh, criteria, performance criteria of baby diaper, because uh, if your uh, baby diaper leaks, then you won't be able to sell uh, any baby diapers to the same mom uh, or friends of this mom uh, anymore, uh, this baby diaper. Uh, so, uh, the leak protection is, of course, very important. Uh, the other uh, performance cr criteria is uh, pro providing a feel feeling of dryness on the skin. Uh, it's about the core uh, of the baby diaper. Uh, we saw the core uh, in the previous uh, presentations, as you know. Uh, if the core works well, uh, the baby feels uh, dry uh, and uh, won't be uh, this uh, discomfortable with this baby diaper. Uh, because, as you know, SAP, super absorbent polymer uh, chemical, uh, absorbs the liquid uh, liquid and forms a jelly uh, formation uh, in the baby diaper so and also cellulose is very important uh, about the feeling dryness of the skin uh, being uh, skin friendly is uh, another performance criteria for baby diapers uh, some producers some diaper producers uh, do uh, do uh, this uh, this quality uh, criteria with creams with using some creams uh, baby care or uh, baby lotion creams uh, so uh, the skin uh, feels more comfortable here uh, ease of application quality and success of fixing systems uh, we, we can see them with hooks and loops 
And uh, as I mentioned in the previous uh, presentations, the uh, elasticity uh, for full force force of the uh, baby diaper. Quality and uh, quality and success of fixing systems uh, here is very important. This, these fixing systems and also uh, the front tape is very important of these uh, performance criteria. Uh, ergonomic success uh, is about all the ergonomic features of the baby diaper and also uh, softness is very important. Uh, and can I, I can say that uh, softness, softness is mainly about the raw material quality. If you use a high quality raw material, you can uh, achieve this softness uh, criteria. Uh, if you don't use a high quality baby, uh, raw material, then uh, your baby diaper will be much more harder. Uh, about uh, raw materials, uh, in the beginning, uh, before I uh, I tell you uh, the, uh, the raw material types used in baby diapers, uh, I should uh, tell you about GSM concept. GSM means gram, uh, grams per square meters. So uh, you can see here some uh, GSM uh, amounts. For example, this is a 10 uh, gram per GSM square meter non-woven. So uh, you can see through this non-woven, you can see the fingers behind this non-woven. So it's very thin. Uh, when you uh, increase the GSM of the uh, non-woven, uh, you, you, uh, you can see that the thickness of the non-woven increases. So when uh, you <coughs> reach, uh, for example, uh, 110 uh, grams per, per square meters uh, non-woven, you can't uh, see anything through uh, this non-woven. So a GSM concept, GSM uh, term is used uh, in uh, baby di diaper raw mater materials. Now let's see uh, some raw materials in baby diapers. You can see here uh, some kind of uh, raw materials which, uh, which are used uh, different areas of baby diapers and baby pants, diapers and pants. Uh, for example, you can see SS or SSS core wrap. Uh, here SS means spun bond, spun bond. Uh, spun bond is a a technical term that uh, defines the method uh, used uh, making this uh, non-woven raw material. Uh, these are, uh, le let me repeat please, these are very very technical issues. Uh, I just uh, put this slide uh, just to give you an initial information about this. But as I said, these are very technical uh, issues. So I uh, recommend you uh, to get a, a professional consultations about these raw materials. Uh, before, uh, of course, you uh, make your mind about your uh, baby diaper uh, project decisions. So uh, you can see here SMMS, uh, here uh, spun bond, melt blown, melt blown, spun bond core wrap. This means there is a four layer, four layer uh, raw, raw material, non-woven, and it consists of one layer <coughs> spun bond top, uh, at the top, and after that, melt blown layer, mat balloon layer and spoon, spoon bond layer. So this this means this is a four layer uh, non-woven. Uh, so uh, these are the same like, like this. For example, this is a three layer non-woven and all the layers are consists of uh, spun bond, spun bond, spun bond, uh, core wrap. Uh, for example, you can see a different term here, uh, acronym here. Uh, this is uh, air through bonding top sheet. Uh, this type of non-woven uh, non are uh, air through. Uh, it's passes the air through it uh, so uh, the uh, the babies the baby's uh, skin can breathe outside so uh, he uh, the baby feels more comfortable with this uh, baby uh, with this air through uh, non wovens uh, these are other types of non wovens uh, you can check these uh, terms here uh, but it's better to take a consultation about these raw materials now uh, I want to tell you uh, about uh, how uh, the, the single diaper raw single diaper costs uh, are calculated. We we have uh, some Excel sheets, some formulated Excel sheets about uh, calculating uh, for calculating the baby diaper uh, costs. For example, this is a uh, this this is an image from our Excel sheet. Uh, we uh, list here all the uh, raw materials we use in the baby di diaper and then uh, we put its le their lengths for one baby diaper, uh, their width and GSMs and we calculate uh, grams we use per piece. Uh, how many grams of these uh, raw material we use uh, 
uh, per piece of uh, diaper and then we uh, multiply them by uh, tone prices usd tone prices all of them and then uh, we when we uh, sum sum it up all uh, we reach the unit cost of a baby diaper uh, i can help you with uh, these calculations if if you can reach me uh, below the video below the communication channels uh, below the video in the uh, this description uh, part of the video uh, i can uh, I can uh, hopefully I can help you with all these calculations. I I can also share you with uh, this calculation Excel sheet. You can easily uh, make your own calculations uh, about diaper projects. Now I want to tell tell you about uh, I want to I want to go on uh, some technical details about uh, baby diaper machines. Uh, of course, you will need a baby diaper machine for uh, the project production of these uh, diapers. So let's go through some uh, technical details about uh, baby diaper machines. A machine, a standard uh, machine, uh, uh, is about uh, 400, uh, 45 meters long, is about uh, 45 meters long, 6 meters height, and 10 meters width. This is a standard uh, machine. Uh, so it's a, a big machine. It's a very large, complicated machine. There are uh, lots of parameters, lots of in input outputs, lots of technologies in this machine. Uh, so uh, and its sizes are also uh, very 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 uh, big when uh, compared to other machines uh, so uh, how can we plan a factory uh, using these big big machines uh, now I, I want to show you a factory sample layout uh, here uh, here you can see a production line one production line two a production line three we have made a, a factory layout for three uh, production lines which we recommend uh, in the initial uh, stage of your production uh, production journey uh, so uh, you need uh, you need you you will need a 5000 square meter uh, production facility uh, in the beginning at least uh, because if you can uh, if maybe you can uh, you you think you can think that i will take one machine i, I will start with one machine and then i will uh, expand my production area but uh, mostly uh, this is not a good uh, this this is not a good idea in most cases uh, because when you buy a line uh, you install a line uh, and then uh, if your uh, production facility is not big enough uh, when you uh, when you decided to expand your production with other additional lines uh, you will need to uh, carry it uh, to another place existing line to, to another place and these are very very hard works so we recommend you uh, to to start with a large area, uh, at least uh, 5,000 uh, square meters, uh, the bigger is better, uh, but at least we recommend you to uh, start with a 5,000 square meter area. You can see that uh, in here, raw material storage area, uh, the trucks or the loaders load this uh, area, raw materials. You can feed your uh, production lines with these raw materials. Also, you can feed, uh, you can supply your uh, lines uh, with the needs of auxiliary systems, filters, uh, or uh, some some other uh, accessories uh, you can use here. And then finished products area, you can collect the finished products here, and then you can uh, you can uh, direct them uh, to log logistic storage area. Mainly these are the end products which are baked and uh, uh, compiled as you want, and then you you transfer them to your customers. Uh, this is a, a sample factory layout. You can also uh, improve this uh, layout of course you can you you will in, in uh, detail and uh, uh, improve this layout but uh, it's for uh, just an idea just uh, just to give an idea uh, for the beginning now uh, what are other co costs should be considered uh, because a factory a baby diaper factory uh, doesn't consist just a machine consists of just a machine and the factory uh, for example you must consider electricity consumptions labor costs raw material and freight costs uh, production area rental purchase fees uh, financial expenses other machinery and equipment expenditures uh, like laboratory forklift compressors etc etc for example uh, let me show you our uh, excel sheet feasibility analysis excel sheet about uh, this baby diaper uh, feasibility report uh, we have, a, as I said before, we have a uh, calculated Excel sheet, uh, formulated Excel sheet. I can also share you about uh, share you uh, this Excel sheet when you get in touch with me. Uh, you can easily uh, calculate these all these uh, 
uh, costs and you can see in the end in the end you can see uh, overall profit uh, in the selected uh, years now uh, i want to talk uh, tell you about uh, important technical spe specifications when choosing a baby diaper machines some technical uh, details uh, the most important technical uh, specifications are these specifications for example reliable speed uh, this means how much how many uh, sorry how many uh, pieces uh, does your machine produces per minute uh, efficiency uh, again defects how much defects uh, how, how much percent defects your uh, baby diaper machine gives uh, and supply power, power uh, it will be very important for your region command voltage installed rate power running power compressed air capacity installed space is also uh, very important technical specifications uh, when choosing a baby diaper machine now uh, I want to tell you about uh, the important things when selecting a, a diaper machine manufacturer. You need to uh, consider uh, their past references. Uh, did they build uh, enough machines before you? Uh, for example, Humvee has more than 400 machines all around the world running now. Uh, like that, uh, you should uh, you should work uh, with a high quality and uh, experienced machine manufacturer. Did he build the machine himself or his partners? This is very important criteria when selecting a baby diaper ma machine manufacturer uh, because if he, uh, if the machine manufacturer uh, builds his machine in uh, its own facility, then it will be have the, uh, it, it will give you the flexibility of uh, next revisions of the machine. For example, uh, the technology changed, the designs, baby diaper designs are changed. So uh, in the future you will need some revisions in your uh, machine. If the if the machine manufacturer uh, makes the machine uh, in his facility, then he will make uh, he will give uh, you quotations for these revisions also with ease. Uh, but uh, if he just uh, assemble, uh, assemble, uh, assemble uh, sorry if if he just assemble uh, from the partners, uh, then he will be the it will be the, the company machine company. Uh, will have difficulty in uh, giving you some elex uh, elasticity. The other factor is uh, important factor in changing. Uh, the other uh, important thing is whether there is a qualified qualified technical support team in location close to you. This is very also important. Whether customers who have previously purchased are satisfied with it or not. Whether the technical values are compatible with the infrastructure values of the country you will invest in. Uh, I mentioned in the previous. Uh, technical data uh, slides that uh, you you must consider technical values and you you should also check these technical values with technical people in your country and brands of high-tech equipment such as automation systems servo motor glue and camera systems used uh, these are also very important because uh, high-tech equipments are critical for baby diaper productions for example glue applicators uh, the best brand in glue applicator is now um, everyone knows as Nordson <coughs> so uh, you must uh, you must con consider in mind uh, you must also uh, ask your machine producers uh, about these brands also now let me show you a sample uh, machine from our factory in China by the way our factory uh, in China is located in Quanzhou uh, we have more than 40 years of experience in producing baby diaper, diaper machines. We also uh, produce adult diaper machines, baby pants machines, adult pants machines, pan care machines, under pet, pet machines. Uh, now uh, you are seeing a, a baby diaper machine, T-shaped baby diaper machine. Uh, this, be, this diaper machine uh, is just, pro, just uh, assembled, assembled and just produced and now being tested by our customers. Now, uh, our technical team are, and our customers are checking the uh, baby diaper machine. Uh, they want to be sure about all the technical uh, details and all the technical issues about the uh, baby diaper design is correct. Uh, so, uh, they are making a FAT now. FAT means, by the way, factory acceptance test. Uh, they are now making factory acceptance tests together 
let me tell you about our process about uh, about del delivering the baby diaper machines. Uh, first of all, when the machine is ready, uh, we invite you to our factory in China. Uh, with our team, you check the machine. Uh, you made a uh, you make a uh, test production uh, with your real uh, raw material, and you uh, yourself see uh, the, the baby diaper is in good condition and uh, is as you want. Uh, and then you approve uh, the machine, uh, and we again disassemble the machine. Uh, we load them in containers and we uh, transfer them to your uh, production facility after all these testings. Uh, and when uh, these machines uh, arrive to your production facility, we then uh, again assemble uh, the machine in your facility, in your factory, and again we test them uh, in your factory. Uh, and uh, this is called SAT. Uh, this means uh, site acceptance tests. So uh, when we uh, again assemble them, uh, assemble the machine in your factory, you again make a test production, you again check all the parameters, all the technical issues in your own facility, then you give approval to us uh, and we then leave, our engineers then leave uh, your facility. Now you can uh, see our customers here uh, are checking the products and the machine performance. Uh, this is also a sticker, uh, sticker machine. We also provide our own sticker machines. Uh, and this is this part will be the beggar machine. This, these are stickers, and after that you can see the beggar uh, type of the machine. Uh, this is all about. Uh, I say I was. Uh, this is all about. I will uh, tell you about about the baby diaper making process and baby diaper uh, production uh, project uh, project. Uh, well. Uh, project feasibility analysis. You can reach me uh, via uh, the telephone number and uh, WhatsApp. This also this and also WhatsApp number. And you can also send us emails. And you can also find my my personal email in the des description uh, part of this video. Uh, I I will be I would be very happy uh, to go along with this uh, investment with you, uh, with my team. Also, we have very high high skills. Uh, technical team in Istanbul, mainly, mainly uh, most of uh, whom uh, were XPNG uh, employee employees. Uh, so uh, we are uh, here, and we are also uh, giving uh, pre-sales and after-sales technical services uh, to our region, which consists of Middle East and African countries. Uh, thank you for listening to me. Uh, I'm very ex excited to uh, meet with you. Bye.